All right, guys, got an update here. This is for the wiring. So I was going off of a, a diagram I saw online. Well, apparently, this is for just a single pressure switch with the two wires coming out. Um, if you get the pressure switch, that's the big one with um, big red uh, 10 gauge and the white and the smaller blue and black. The relay is already inside this whole little box right here. So what I did was I did some snakeskin all over this. Um, this white one right here goes to the compressor. This is going to be your 12 volt in. This goes to the ignition uh, switch. So basically my um, switch at the front on my dash. Um, I do have a drain, electric drain. What I did was I popped it right here and I actually put one of the couplers on here. So this is going to blow out when I hit the button inside. Um, and all I did was I took this, uh, this is the plate that has it, and I just made the template, drilled it through, and mounted it right there. It goes through here. Um, I put all my grounds together, just T-tapped them right there. I have dial electric uh, grease inside that. This is going to go to the frame, so it's only one thing going to the frame. Um, this is the main harness coming in that's going to go into the cab. These are all my connections and then, then that's the spool right there. Um, in my uh, Sierra, there's a grommet underneath the, the car. Um, I'm going to be poking a hole right there and that's where all the wires are going to come in at. But basically, this is how the wiring is going to be. Uh, these just like this is the electric. Um, drain and this is the valve for this um the solenoid for the the, the actual horns yourself so that's all going to be connected in with all that right there um all righty all righty so um made a longer snake skin to go over everything so basically this is how it will look underneath the truck. So it kind of fits in here, kind of snug in between here. Um, I'm probably gonna put a zip tie here and I'm gonna put a zip tie here so it doesn't like fold backwards, but that's basically how it's gonna be. And then all I gotta do is hook up the ground to underneath and it will be good to go.